Hello. <laughs> My name is Johnny D or Johnny Dundulus. Um I listen to I watch Pastor Paul Bigley every day almost. And uh whenever he's on, I get his I get his um alerts all the time. So, you know, that's just a thing. I love listening to him. And he goes, what? Are you seriously serious? And he just loves to yell out loud. And I love that. Uh, but I am sad to say that Jack Van Empey has passed away. I've been watching him for years. I've always expected the next available video on YouTube to, you know, say what he has to say. Sometimes he says the same things a lot of the time, but not always. But information is dead on, because usually what Pastor Paul Bagley says is confirmed it by others as well. Uh, I know that he has talked with Pastor Paul Bigley a couple of times. And um, I'm just sad that now he's gone. But happy for him because he's with the Lord. And uh, I appreciate his teachings. I've been watching his show since I was a teenager. I was flipping through the channels to see what was on and when he was talking about the end times and Revelation and Job, you know, all the chapters that deal with the end of days. And I'm quoting this because he actually says that. The end of days. Because we are in the end of days. And there are signs everywhere. If you watch Pastor Paul vaguely like I do... I know I do, because <laughs> uh, I've been watching him for quite some time now, not over the years, but months, and I like what he says. So anyway, <laughs> I hope that everything's okay with the Van Impies. I will pray for him and his wife. And the rest of his family, whoever they are, because I really don't know them all. And I know you probably don't know them all either. You just know Jack Van Impey and Rick Sella. But his show has left a really huge footprint. So his footprint will live on forever until Christ returns. I know that for a fact, because that's going to happen. And, uh, Jack Van Impey stated that he's going to continue to live on until the Lord calls him home. And, uh, on January 18th, the Lord called him home. I was so sad, so brokenhearted. I, I actually wept. And, uh, I, I don't have him to watch anymore not just no not just him but i have hal Lindsay. i have pastor Paul vaguely to watch there's a few others um heaven are <laughs> you gotta you gotta like heaven are david heaven are and um like i said there's a few others and if you believe in the book of revelation in the new testament it's very relevant to this day and age. Not very many churches do this because they don't want to. And, you know, Jesus talks about how, about the Pharisees, woe to those who don't teach, teach the gospel of truth and light, whatever. Um, it's all true. And um, 
I just thought I'd say that out loud because it's been on my mind all day and uh, everybody keeps talking about Jack Van Impey online when I was watching Pastor Paul Bigley about his death and when did he die. And uh, I went to his Wikipedia and did very well on his story, his life and so forth. And uh, I have to commend to Wikipedia. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to say that Jack Winnipe has passed away, even though he's been gone a couple of days. It's an impact. It really is. And we don't have very many prophets now. now. There's the Lord is calling them home, and there's a reason for that, because we are in the last days. And uh, unless God calls upon somebody to be a prophet, and God talks to him, even though we don't really need prophets, we got the Bible for that. The Bible teaches us what's going to happen. And I have this six-hour movie that I always watch called Jesus of Nazareth. It's really a good movie. I love it. Six hours. Come on. You can't beat that. And uh, sometimes I disagree with some of the stuff that they put in, like how, uh, how they didn't go to Golgotha. They, they just stuck them somewhere before, uh, close to Jerusalem, which is not true. But he did go to Golgotha. So anyway, this is Johnny D signing off. I hope you like this video. So like below and so forth. And uh, God bless you, everyone. And uh, pray for the Van, Van Impies who knows they, they may need it. They really do. Our prayers go to them. Amen and amen.